determine what value to to attach to your work. I know a lot of artists struggle with this. I know that I do. It's definitely a struggle to figure out how to how much to charge for a work. And I think there are a few things that come into play. I mean what is okay, what are other people asking for and getting for their work? It gives you some ideas. Um, the time one spends, I mean I have to consider that and yet, I can't, you know, price myself out of a market. So I have to balance all those things. What what can I get uh, for a work? What have I gotten before? Um, you know, once you start pricing it at a, a certain level and it sells, and you, you know, then you kind of have to stick with that. Not having a lot of money to buy um, art materials should never stop someone who's really serious and wants to make art. Uh, no, I just buy my wood burning tool at uh, Michael's Hobby Store. I just get the basic stuff. I don't worry about looking for, you know, the best tips or any of that sort of thing. I mean, I, that's an interesting idea, but I don't didn't really feel like I needed it. And um, so I don't think you always have to have, you know, the best. Just because you have the best materials doesn't mean you're making the best art, first of all. Oh, that's true. <laughs> When did you know you were an artist? <laughs> well, I think all kids see themselves as artists. Um, I guess just not all of us uh, still think that uh, as adults. Um, I always saw myself as an artist, although I took some detours and did some other things along the way. For example, I was an art therapist um, for a long time and I worked with kids. 
And I use the medium of art to communicate uh, with children and, and did that instead of focusing on my own art uh, on a full-time basis. It is interesting working with people um, who don't grow up in a kind of environment where, where art is just a normal thing. Um, you'd be surprised how many kids are afraid to make art. Because um, it seems like the most natural thing to do. But, but for, for kids who um, have grown up in uh, environments where they were basically mistreated, um, they maybe just didn't have access to that. They couldn't even probably relax enough to make art. And so just introducing them to art making can be a challenge. But what, once um, they're really into it, that's a wonderful part. And, and that was a very good experience. Um, sharing an art process with somebody mm -hmm. is very rewarding. And then you also feel involved in it. Um, I mean, sometimes I kind of felt a little envious because I want to make my own art. <laughs> and when you work with uh, other people in that kind of capacity, you really can't focus on your own, your, your own art and work side by side because you're going to miss a lot of the process. It's not always just the finished product, product that's important, but the process is important. Um, one thing that's interesting is to see how starved people are to make art, who, who are not artists and who don't um, engage in this activity. Like parents would come and sit with their kids and they would start taking over the art materials and making things and they'd be like, wow. It's like, you know, that reminds me of how kind of a, a basic acti human uh, activity it is and it just kind of gets blocked for a lot of people. If art became just as important, would we have the same world? You know, <laughs> right? It's like, I mean, but artists don't push for it. You know, like everybody's afraid to ask. It's like we you know, like we have to, you know, it's like we have to walk up almost apologetic. You know, after like everybody's left, hey, you think we can like introduce some artwork? I mean, it almost feels that way. It, it does to me. You know, I, I don't think that there's anyone really pushing. I think one of the problems with art education, at least in uh, public schools, uh, elementary schools and junior, oh, I guess it's middle schools now and high schools though, is some of the teaching that's done. Um, I think there's a lot of uh, very poor uh, instruction when there is art education. I mean, you have teachers, some teachers who, it's not their fault, but they just don't really know about art. And so they're, like, everybody's drawing the same bunny, you know, they're all using the same stencil or whatever. And so there's no real uh, um, nurturing of creativity, it's basically teaching someone how to copy. Art making is all about problem solving. I mean, if you're constant, everything you do in when you're making art has to do with uh, making decisions and the repercussions of the decisions. And Okay, if you don't like that, what are you going to do now? If that didn't work out, you know, or do you need to learn something else? Or you, you, You're constantly having to figure out things. I don't see how this is not a valuable skill to have in any area uh, a person goes into uh, professionally. But this is a valuable